squirrels. They're not just a roadkill of the animal kingdom. Nope. In fact, they're a whole lot more interesting than most people give them credit for. So put away your squirrel launchers as we delve into the world of squirrels. Squirrels, Phylum Chordata, Class Mammalia, Order Rodentia, Suborder Sieromorpha. Now, I know what you're thinking. What you talking about, Willis? Basically, squirrels are a type of rodent mammals consisting of 279 different species including chipmunks and prairie dogs. Yeah, I bet you didn't know they were squirrels too. You see, squirrels come in all shapes and sizes. The smallest squirrel is the African pygmy squirrel only 2.8 to 3.9 inches long. That's about half the size of an unsharpened pencil. Good luck finding one of those guys around. The biggest squirrel towers over the African pygmy, the alpine marmot, which can grow between 21 to 29 inches long. Wow! In comparison, the world's shortest man, Dongi, is 21 and a half inches tall, while the tallest, Kosin, is 99 inches. While that is tall, he's not even close to the ratio we're talking about. He'd have to be about twice as tall to be in the ballpark. Now that's a big amita ball. With such a huge difference in the same species, how do you keep track of it all? Well, to keep a bit of order in the squirrel world, people have made it simple by classifying squirrels into one of three categories. Tree squirrels, ground squirrels, and flying squirrels. But in truth, what do we think about when we hear the word squirrel? We think about their large eyes and huge fluffy tails. But those aren't just for show, you know. Squirrels have excellent vision due to their large eyes and they are positioned in just a way that allows them to see in front of them, to the sides, and above them without even turning their heads. Just give them a tux and you've got yourself a super spy. Look out 007 cause secret squirrels got you beat. But what about their tails? Surely they're just for looks, right? Wrong. As with most tailed creatures, tails help maintain balance, but it's so much more than that. Squirrels use their tails to shade them from the sunlight, protect them from the rain, wind, and dust, and they even use their tails as makeshift parachutes to slow their descent in the air. See what I mean about being a super spy? Come on! He has a parachute built into him! What about their other features? Squirrels have large ears with a strong sense of hearing. Their sense of smell isn't bad either, as a squirrel can smell if nuts have been infected by insects and can smell other animals' territories. Squirrels have slender bodies and soft, silky fur in all colors. Well, maybe not all colors. As with most rodents, they also have those huge buck teeth which they use to gnaw their food. The teeth are so large because they never stop growing, so they have to gnaw on hard objects to wear them down to size. As for their brains, well, call them walnut brains because that's just what they are. The size of walnuts. But do they taste like walnuts? Why not ask the Kentuckians? Is that how you call them? I don't know. People from Kentucky, whatever. For them, squirrel brains are a delicacy to be eaten in a stew or with scrambled eggs. Now that's what I call a scrambled brain. Boo, you <laughs> stink! Eh, let's move on. But where do squirrels come from, you may ask? Now patience, young eager viewers, for our journey has just begun. Squirrels live in a vast variety of habitats from forests to cities. They originate from the Americas, Eurasia, and Africa, but now they can be found all over the world! Except Antarctica. Ops. The first known fossil of a squirrel is this guy, Hesperopetes, which is between 35 to 40 million years old. As for the word squirrel's origin, it was derived from the ancient Greek word skiros, which means shadow-tailed. Forget what I said about this guy being a spy, squirrels should be ninjas with names like that. Unfortunately, squirrels don't live very long. Heck, most don't even live past the first year as they die from starvation. Those who do live only about 5 to 10 years in the wild, but some have survived to double that in captivity. Hear that, PETA? Plus one for you, Zeus. So as you can see, reproduction is important for them. The mating season is marked by the development of the male testes and the sexual swelling of females. Male tree squirrels follow the pheromones left behind by females and chase them in what is known as a mating chase. 
49 males may chase a single female, but in the end, the female chooses a mate, which is determined by his ability to stay close to her during the chase. Good job for you, Flash. You got yourself some poontang. But he's not the only one. Female squirrels can only mate one day each season, so they need as much as they can get. In fact, they may have up to 30 relations in a single 24-hour period. As for ground squirrels, they have a different mating ritual. Their rituals take place underground, so not much is known about what goes on down there. Squirrel reproduction is based on the availability of food. When food is scarce, there will be little to no litters. When food is plentiful, squirrels tend to reproduce twice a year and give birth in a nest to two to eight kittens at a time. No, not those kinds of kittens. These are squirrel kittens. They are born between 29 to 65 days after impregnation and are born without fur or teeth and are blind as their eyes and ears are closed for the first five weeks of life. The female takes care of the kittens on her own because the males leave right after birth. Shame on you. Go back and help your loving mate take care of your kittens. Show her what kind of male you really are. Oh, that's right. Female squirrels are very protective of their children and will not allow the male to stay even after the kittens have grown. What a meanie! Why would she do such a thing? I mean, he was just trying to... What? There's a good explanation for this. There's no way that... Male squirrels tend to harm their children in order to get the female to go into heat sooner? You... Horrible creature, get out of here! <coughs> Where was I? Oh yes, squirrel kittens are fully developed after 42 days and are now called juveniles. Juveniles leave the nest 26 to 87 days after birth. By the end of the third year, squirrels reach sexual maturity and are free to seek companionship and the cycle starts all over again. Squirrels live very different lives depending on the species. Ground squirrels are more social and they develop groups called scurries. They play, groom, and communicate with one another. Tree squirrels on the other hand are very solitary creatures. They look out for only number one. Flying squirrels are nocturnal and we don't know much about them. They are a complete and other mystery. Most squirrels live in dens, on trees, or underground. Squirrels can't stay in one place as they usually have up to three dens across one and a half to five acres of their territory. Wow! That's more than what I have! Now I'm jealous! First you have those awesome tails and now this? My preference aside, squirrels prefer to live where the most food is available. When there are humans around, squirrels become so accustomed to eating our junk that they refuse to eat their natural food anymore. Soon we'll be seeing obese squirrels too. Darn you Twinkies, you'll be the death of us all! Squirrels are herbivores, but they have been known to eat meat when faced with hunger, such as insects, small birds, snakes, and even other rodents. Don't get a squirrel hungry, you wouldn't like them when they're hungry. To keep from starving during hibernation, squirrels hoard food for the winter, either by burying it or by scattering it through different locations known only to them. Or me too when they store it in my car muffler. I couldn't even get to school. And trust me, when you live in the desert and you have to tell your teacher, Sorry, I couldn't get to school because squirrels stuff nuts up my muffler. They just stare at you funny and call in the men in white to pick you up and send you to the crazy house. Squirrels don't have easy lives either. Many predators including large birds, felines, canines, and weasels prey on these little guys. But what they don't know is that they're packing. Some defense strategies. The best method of survival is the camouflage and escape technique. Squirrels with lighter coats try to blend into the sunlight, while those with darker coats blend into the shadows. If that fails, then the squirrels send in the cavalry. A group of squirrels attack the predator in what is known as mobbing. They will continue to attack until the predator leaves the area or is killed. Street style defense for the win. All good for the squirrels, but what can they possibly do for me, I hear you asking. Well, how about saving our entire planet? Yeah, no joke. Squirrels are an important part of our ecosystem. Squirrels help slow down deforestation through seed dispersal activities, or in other words, 
Their feces leaves seeds in a natural fertilizer. They also help pollination by eating flowers and nectar. And they even give other animals homes from their abandoned burrows. In fact, the burrow itself helps the environment by causing aeration of soil and fertilizing from the inside. As you can see, squirrels are very complex creatures. Love them or hate them, you gotta respect those little guys. From intricate mating rituals to using their tails as parachutes, squirrels are indeed very strange creatures. They play an important role in our ecosystem and have survived for millennia by adapting to their environments and predators. Next time you spot a squirrel, remember, they are not just a pesky little rodent, they are intelligent, resourceful little critters who deserve a little more respect and admiration.